Hey, um, so this is another video in my Newcastle career mode. Uh, obviously, uh, as you can see, um, recently we have actually been playing quite good. Obviously, Callum Wilson running away with our top scorer. Then it's actually our two um, CDMs, uh, and they're both like proper CDMs as well. Uh, we're, we're, they both have two goals and one assist. Um, obviously, Hayden, he hasn't had a chance to grow as much because he's been injured for a bit. While Barmian, uh, he he was a good signing from Everton. Uh, he started off um, a rating higher than Hayden. Then it's Sant Maximin, uh, who's got three assists and two goals. I remember one of those assists, or two of those. I remember. Um, then, then Bessa, uh, Daniel Bessa, doing good. I remember he was my replacement for Almiron. Willock. Meh, he said a very meh season. <laughs> and then Lascelles, he was just always subbed on, and he's and he's got three yellow cards. And then out of my run, this might be career over for him, honestly. Uh, if, if once he comes back, let's say when he comes back, let's say a uh, Willock. Uh, has got much higher rated or well, Bessa uh, is on really good form so I want to keep him that's again career over for him because um, he can't get game time but we have these games against well we have this game against Egypt then Canada so yeah uh, last uh, last month we played Spurs, oops, last month we played Spurs, uh, drew 2-2, two -two. we drew 0-0 nil -nil with Wolves, and then we drew 2-2 two -two with Arsenal, then I didn't play the 2-1 on win, uh, I didn't play the 2-1 on win there, because I knew that they would be easy wins, uh, but now I'm going to go to the um, United game, oh yeah, I don't know what's happening here, I think on my screen, uh, I can't see the scores yet uh, for the international games, I don't really care about them, but it's nice knowing them, okay, this Mexican team uh, is doing good, now, should I start playing Dubrovka again, because, yeah, because Darlow, he's been doing really good for me. White has actually done good, but I'll play Dubrovka again. Like, because what's good about having two goalies that you can rotate is that if one's doing horrible, you can just bring in the other one while he's still got decent sharpness. And then damn it, mm, uh, his like, I feel like most of our bench, other than these three players here, um, good sharpness then Aaron's will be coming back in soon the cells he, he he won't be able to come back in like I am pretty sure that like he's also like a leader I think I need to check what's happening with all those injured players I wasn't it the cells who also got a um a very long term injury so yeah, Almiron, his his uh, ratings really gone down, but he's only got four more min months on his ACL, um, and ah oh, five more months for Lascelles on his ACL. Now that will be career over for him because I think that he's because twenty seven is considered your prime, and when you're and when you're like and when you've just got an ACL in your prime and uh and you've only played eight games that season and you weren't on good uh, form in the first place you you're probably not actually gonna get your place back in the squad because you've got to remember if you look at my defense white is 77 I signed him, Shah 78, so that's already both our spots taken up, but then we have this lad here who's 77 on loan away, so he'll be back um, when 
his ACL is done. Uh, Kieran Clark, he might actually be um, the same or higher rated once he comes back. Damn it, 77, uh, 76. But oh uh, yeah, Fed Federico Fernandez is actually joining Real Betis, and then Lascelles. This this is like no, I wouldn't actually mind selling him because he's currently on a bad ACL. And I, I don't, and I don't like um, having. Uh, I don't like having players on their ACL. And then uh, a broken toe, and then he just got like Saint Maximin. But oh no no no! I'm not playing that against United. No. Oopsie, misclicked. Imagine playing your under tiny freeze again. Uh, United in FIFA. Chop. <laughs> so, uh, I'll play this now. So we get a draw. No, sorry, not a draw. A win against United, and I'm happy. Wilson had a, quite a good game. Who scored that? And then he scored this. I I I like this goal. It looked yeah. I think that was outside of the box. But then Bruno Fernandez scored. And from this point, I was like, they're gonna score an equaliser and then a winner, aren't they? They're gonna score an equaliser and a winner, aren't they? So that's what pretty much fueled me to uh, continue to try and do it. So the Brav could got a save there. Then Hayden. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and here is Wilson's hat trick goal. Just slots it into the back of the net. Uh, so yeah. Uh, with that win, we don't actually go up or down. We stay in the same position, which is a bit annoying, but it's not hugely bad. But that takes away actually, like before the game, they're like Rashford, the current top goal scorer. After the game, they're like Wilson with a hat trick. That man must be on. I know Pepsi Max. Wait, to be fair, I feel like Grant deserves to be um, in the seventeenth because uh, he's played eight games in school five so he was obviously injured um like we have actually had quite a few problems with injuries this season uh i'm shocked that wilson hasn't been injured because you'll expect your strikers to be targeted um for tackles but we're lucky i guess mm. And so that leaves. Um, I feel. I think that with that that leaves Almiron with um, four more months, and it leaves Lascelles with five more months, and he's already two months in gone down the rating. I think that that might actually be career over for him. Like, because he could have. I like only got eight games in, and only five in the Premier League, and he only, and the most he got this season is three yellow cards, three yellow cards in five games in the Premier League. So he wasn't doing good in the first place. Like I don't even want to give him that number anymore. I just want to give him some like eighty-one because I'll probably gift it him back if. If he's able to make a comeback, but you know he's out for ages. Before he was doing rubbish anyway. He doesn't deserve six, not because he's injured, but because he was doing rubbish at the start. And, but current top assister, Besser. Like I feel like I felt like he's not doing great, but he has been uh, in the assists for Wilson, who's. Uh, hammered in 13 goal contributions in 13 games for the Premier League. All of his contributions are from the Premier League. 
and he played two European Intel Cup games, which I don't count those because they're friendlies, but for some reason this game does count them as proper games. So, that's how that's going. Now, Willock, I'm hoping he can do a bit better because I have actually properly signed him now. You know, right now, if Dubravka got injured, I'll be like, no. But really, if Dummett got injured, that'd be career over. If Shah got injured, that'd be career over. If Wilson got injured, that would be career over as well. Like, why, is, why am I still training his weak foot? That's five star. Wait, what takes... I usually just do the, the one that takes the least time. But this improves it. Um, I want maybe, oh, this takes six weeks. And um, maybe Target Man. I'll keep, well, I'll, I'll probably keep him on complete. Uh, because that gives him curve, short pass, free kick accuracy, shot power, attacking positioning, finishing. All that stuff that you need to be a striker. Now, the reason I actually gave the penalty to him is because he he deserved that hat trick. I feel like he had so many chances to to snatch the hat trick, but yeah. Now, who should I give my new number nine to? Carol. Carol doesn't even deserve nine. I feel like he just deserves something random like thirty. <laughs> the only player I actually have who deserves it is Yannick Torre. I really need a backup striker. <sighs> okay, who could actually be taught to play striker? Uh, what? I'm pretty sure that if I train mm -mm, Aaron's three more weeks, oh, and yeah, these injuries really aren't. Wait, I can imagine that. Oh, players that are actually badly injured are quite happy. Like, they're, they're not, because obviously they're mad with their playtime, I'll be mad Lascelles is happy with his playtime, well, they, I'm pretty sure that the AI knows that, I feel like it was Almiron's playtime before the injury that he's complaining about, and Aaron's, he was actually playing a lot of the game, so I don't know why he would be complaining, he's also gonna rating down, like, like, even though he's 20, he's still going down in rating just because of that bad injury. So, I'll probably get to my next um, game now. Well, if it's one that I can sim, I will. Uh, if it's one that uh, I can play, I will play. I actually have just remembered. Um, I forgot to do something which I should have remembered. Okay, Orion Frazel's in the game time, in your dreams. Uh, we've got bigger games coming up. This, Max Aarons, yes, Max Aarons is back from his month-long injury. Oh, oh, his potential might be kind of low, but he's gotten a thousand in wage, which means that he might be high rated. Three hundred and fifty K is his value and uh oh, that had potential to be good. Sorry I need to be quiet. I'll sign him. Now how you see what players you've just signed is it's only ever the players that because uh, I always, well, it, this doesn't work with everyone, obviously, but I always give my players uh, things, so this is a new player, Elliot R Richardson, I think, was that? Yeah, Elliot Richardson. His best stat is pace, well, and physicality. I'll give him left wing back roll, that might increase his thing a bit. For I, I like to keep goalies. 
and the more. Tommy Chambers. He's got that. Um, he's got that Andy Carroll haircut. <laughs> Might be the next. Oh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be the next Andy Carroll, honestly. But he actually fits a bit better for a winger, so he won't be the next Andy Carroll. <laughs> He is right footed and I'd like him to be able to get those crosses in. I don't mind about free star, free star. Medium low, that's fine. And uh, Um, I, I just mess with how I say his name really, but... Um, I want him to be more of an... Well, I, I want him to be a, an advanced playmaker, honestly. But then he'll be a free star, five star. Okay. So, that is everything there done. Now, I'll sim the game against Palace because they're in 16th. And we're hunting for European football. Now, Aaron's can't get his first game back. Ouch. I don't appreciate a draw a lot of the time, but it's fine with Newcastle. We were just on a really good run, actually. Like, I was expecting to be losing a lot of the games that we won. Now, this is a game uh, worthy to sim as well. Brighton are in the relegation zone, so... I imagine if I... Okay, Wilson uh, with two goals. He might have scored a penalty. St. Maximin with one. I think that does actually keep him in his spot as top goal scorer in the league. But I think he might have been knocked out of that spot for a bit. Nope. He's been in there uh, for quite a while. Rashford hasn't scored a goal since. When was the last time he scored a goal? Rashford hasn't scored a goal since the 8th because he didn't score on the 21st, 28th. This is just assuming that they've got the games on save days or the first. So now I'll be playing the City one. Okay, I'll probably be simming a lot of those. Maybe I'll be playing against. I know, but that's what I will do. I'll be simming quite a few. But, um. Yeah, wait, who does it say needs to be captain? Don't say yourselves. Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, Matt Ritchie. No, no, I am not. No. Is he, is he even playing? I bet you, yeah, he's got the leadership trait. I don't know how he got it because he didn't have it before. He's never had it before. And, like, I like to give it to either... Um, experienced players of team players but this is Aaron's game back he's still got that little plaster sign so I'll have to sub him off at half time to keep him uh, safe but I'm just gonna go and, uh, and play the game a completely unexpected win against City, which should put us up into a sick for I think. As you can see, a lot of chances in this game. Like, there's, it isn't even on the first one. So, I don't know how we missed that. I thought that was in, honestly. Then... A save from Edison, like I love that from Hayden. He just was determined to get that shot on. And then a save from Edison. Wait, was this a save from Edison? Yeah, yeah, that was. I can remember now. Now Fabian Shah uh, got a miss. Yeah, this was a horrible miss. Like imagine missing that far. That that probably is about just, I don't know seven yards, but amazing play and it just gets into Gundogan and he can slot it in and Wilson with our second penalty of the game slots it in Edison had no chance and then Martin Dubravka 
a fantastic goalie. I'm not sure about replacing him anymore with Carl Darlow. Then a miss from Riyad Mahrez. I mean, that could have been a good goal. But then a fantastic run from Wilson and just slots it in the back of the net. I love that. So that gives us the win. And as you can see, City did a lot better than us. Like, uh, possession-wise, it was pretty much equal, 51% and 49%. Well, they had, oops, well, they had um, a lot more tackles than us. Um, we had four corners. Our shot accuracy was much higher. We both got 80% pass accuracy. And then uh, they actually got the most fouls. I think... Yeah, they're, they're fouls to us, somehow. I think that's the first time I've ever not got a, uh, not got a foul in a game, because I usually get quite a few fouls, but I guess I was lucky. Maybe, I feel like the way that City play is probably how I was, oh, yep, yeah. capped a good team display, I can fast more. You capped a good team display. Two goals. We we're not giving anything away, and every player did his job. We go. Every player did his job. So that oh, your contribution. Oh, phew. Yeah, he got injured. Wait, wait, wait. Gain. Oh, wait, that might actually uh, go into our money next season. Ah, 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 no, ah, ah, no, actually, ah, ouch. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was literally just sitting here, uh, like on the floor, and I accident, and I'm like kind of standing up at the same time, and I accidentally slip, and I really badly hurt my foot. Well, yep. So big move for Ben White. It was worth it. He was good. Oh, um, bombing, bombing, <laughs> bombing. Okay, now Max Aaron's. He couldn't play the whole game last time. Now Joseph Willock. Uh, I was worried that that was quite a bad injury, but then Joe Linton. <laughs> I'm glad I sold him. He was never gonna get any game time with me. Uh, um, Krath, I think. Uh, Federico Fernandez, but uh, still hasn't uh, properly left. Dwight Gale still not properly left. Artsu, I'm not gonna sign him back. It was just I saw, it. and then uh, these free loans, and then. Daniel Besser, he's on good form actually. Uh, that should leave. Um, yep, Wilson's still four clear of King has really slowed down. Because, like before, I was praising him because of how many goals he was able to get in. And I'm like, what? Why he hasn't even scored? So, um, I'm just gonna. The next game that I will play is, I'll probably sim uh, these two. How are Everton doing? Ninth. Yep, so I'll sim the games against Aston Villa and Burnley. I'll play these three at the end of the month. And then we're in January already. I only started this career mode like today, as in I'm recording these all on the same day, so it will take like five seasons sorry about that it'll take like three to five seasons till i can actually read your uh what you're saying about this actually but it's not that bad but i'll go and sim those games and i'll come back after the everton game bye guys hope you enjoyed today's video i've decided not to play those vid sorry not video games I've just decided to end it here. Now I am actually gonna. I have to sign a player 30 and um and up in the January transfer window, so I can't sign any players that I actually wanted to. 
but this is a team Wilson is now at an 80 rated uh, 4 star 5 star I'm going to love using him with, especially with that weak foot because I'm not a huge skill move uh, skill mover but I hate like completely missing shots like 5 miles off target because of um, weak foot now uh, the team is going well <sighs> Oh god, these two players, I think Almiron, like I thought, oh he's he's only 26 and his career can still be revived, stuff like that, but it doesn't look good for him, honestly, it doesn't look good for either of the entry players, like LaSalle still has 4 months left and is 76. Almiron with three months left and is 76 rated. So I'm pretty confident that the cells will go down to like 75 or maybe even 74 by the end of this ACL. And Almiron, like, it may actually just be worth selling him. Like, his value has gone down by 40%. I, I, I do want to calculate that, it's just not a good uh, time, but wait, I might actually calculate it, you know what, you know what, it's fine. Where is the, actually the calculator? Calculator, I'm not sure, I'm going to try and calculate this. Okay. I think, I'm not sure how much he was worth before, but it would have been like 17, 16 million. This, this injury has really changed his career. I'm probably going to have to um, say, lad, sorry, but you, can, you can't be a Christian anymore. Wait, it'll be funny if he's like stumbling into the room like, Ugh, ugh, ugh. Well, you're not going to play for ages. You're probably just going to be loaned out even once you come back from your ACL. So, you know, I just want to. I want to see if I can actually revive his career. We'll just go from the 17 million release clause. Because, um, like I keep saying, his, his career can still be revived because he, at the start of the season, I'm pretty sure, was, uh, was 20, uh, 5, but LaSalle's, uh, sorry lad, because look, I'll be able to, like, show you, uh, how it's gone so here all the like good players Almiron injured now he's gone down a lot of value and LaSalle's he's literally only worth um, a million less than Almiron and that's only because he's a bit older he's gone down by 28% but that's because his uh, he's only gone down by one but, um, I feel bad for them because both of them, like especially with Almiron, Miguel Almiron, I was hoping that I could turn him into like a giant for us and he's turned into more of a snail or a <laughs> an ant. Like, like in the news, like in the news, they'll, the cells, I can't revive his career, I feel like I feel like how am I going to revive their careers? I want to do it with the cells, but how am I going to do it? Honestly. We're not the only ones with ACL injuries, but we've been unlucky with how long they are. Christensen only out for five months, while our players are out for seven. And 
Wait, what am I going to do about Lascelles? Because he was a super sub. He wasn't really a super sub. He was more of a sub. And uh, Almiron, he was like a star player until with that injury. So, if I can actually revive their careers, good. But I probably won't be able to. Aaron's happy with Newcastle is breaking news. OMG! Aaron's is happy being at Newcastle. Federico Fernandes, Federico Fernandes. Yeah, my plans for getting a 30 and older player, because that's one of my most important goals. Um, it's, I think it's high. So, I've just got all these um, backup strikers here. Uh, King is on there for next season. Because he could be an absolute beast. But I've got Andre Ayu, who I could use um, as a backup. Uh, Jovetich. Oh, he's recently moved. I won't be able to get him. Uh, Slimani, maybe, he just recently moved, MacArthur, and Scouting, this lad, oh, he has recently moved, Herrera, I could probably loan to buy him, but he might just be a bit out of our range, Matic, another player a bit out of our range, because we'll be left with about, I don't know, uh, seven or eight million. And then to prac, please, yes, if you, okay, now these are the players that I've got on my short, ah, you bit my tongue. These are the players that I got on my short list to get, how ah, I really bit my tongue hard. Andre, are you five foot nine? I'm not sure if I could. Yeah, it'll probably be a better idea to use him as a winger. But bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm suddenly making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And bye.